Yeah, I'm just outside the uh, Valentine uh, Resort in Keo Cruz. Um, we're at the sort of end of May here. So not very full the resort. I was talking to a couple of uh, a couple of the guests here. I'm not staying here. I'm just staying down the road at uh, Iberostar Star uh, Coral Section. Um, so I figured I'd drop in here and uh, give a little walk around, uh, give you guys an idea what the uh, resort's all about here. All right, so we got the uh, main entrance here. It's a beautiful uh, setup here. We seem to be up on a bit of a hill here. I don't know if they made this uh, artificial or uh, what. It's a beautiful entrance. This is like a massive uh, resort area here. We've got the um, check-in uh, over on the right here. Lots of sitting area in the lobby. There's my buddy Tom walking away there. I was chatting with him for about a half hour before the video. Lobby bar over to the left there. Looks uh, pretty well stocked. And uh, I gotta say the view uh, coming in here is uh, spectacular. This is one of the nicest uh, kind of views coming in. You've got the pool in the, in the foreground here and you can see the ocean uh, in the background. Just let me zoom in a bit here. It's uh, I see the ocean back there behind the pool. Yeah, this is uh, really nice uh, as far as that goes. All right, let's take a little uh, little walk around. So I think uh, this, well, we're into May here, so it's not exactly high season, but there's not many people uh, staying at the resort. You can see uh, there's basically nobody sitting at the beach chairs here. I can hear it's a bit bit windy up on top of the hill here. I'll try to shield my microphone here so it doesn't make too much noise. Pool looks in good shape. Get a fantastic view from up here. And the other nice thing is there's uh, a good wind here which is going to keep the bugs down um, and kind of cool you off a bit because it's uh, pretty warm right now. We're kind of like uh, low 30s, I think 31, 32 today. Got the poolside bar here, the Blue Jays and uh, Florida Lee here. It's, bartender doesn't look uh, too busy based on uh, lack of guests, I'd say. Seeing another pool here, and it drops off into a lower section. Got a volleyball net set up. No one, uh, no one really playing volleyball here. I think the few people that are here are down at the beach. That seems to be, uh, it's kind of the reason you come to Cuba in general is for the beach, beach action. And you can see the resort is uh, pretty sped out here. I'll just pause here for a minute. And I think the guy I was talking to, uh, Tom there, was saying there's like a several hundred rooms. I'll check up online and see just how big uh, this resort is. But there is a huge number of buildings on the left side. And then over on the right side there, you can see multiple buildings there. I'm going to say very few of them are occupied right now. Okay, so we'll just uh, take a little walk uh, here off to the west side. You can see a building uh, out there on the left there. Now, it hasn't rained here in a couple of weeks. We're supposed to get rain tomorrow, so you can see the uh, grass is a bit, uh, a bit dried out. The buildings are all new here, as I was saying, it's uh, just a couple of years old, so you can count on things uh, mostly uh, functioning. Actually, I think what we'll do here is take a little walk up on uh, building six here, and uh, we should get a view from up on top and get a little more view of just how big this resort is. This is uh, it's a very large resort.
I think most of these rooms are uh, currently not occupied. Uh, So we're up on top here, and you can see now this is uh, it's a fairly small island. So you can see back in that direction, you can see the ocean. Um, that's more on the uh, more on the kind of uh, other side from the Atlantic. So the people tend not to build resorts there because the beach is not as nice. The uh, actual beach is uh, down this way. You can see how massive this resort is. Sometimes I wonder if Cuba's maybe uh, has a bit of an old overbuild problem on the resorts. They seem to have way more resort capacity than there are tourists. But here's the view uh, towards the ocean here. So these. Uh, these rooms on the end here, I guess it's a bit, a bit windy here. So you get a pretty good view of the ocean from here. All right, so let's go back, uh, back down the stairs here. Actually, let's take a different stairwell down. Kind of making this up as I go. So we're back, uh, back on the ground here. You can see some more uh, buildings uh, all around here. See most of them right now are not occupied. So I'll take a little walk on the boardwalk here to the beach area. Little sign telling you where to go. Family, beer, cocktails, etc. Yeah, I would say not too many of the uh, facilities are probably open now based on the uh, fairly low occupancy rate. Which are some advantages, like it's easy to get a beach chair, but sometimes the restaurants can be a bit uh, a bit limiting. Just, uh, Take another look around at the back here. You can just get an idea. Let me zoom in a bit here. You can see the one room there, some kind of restaurant there, more, more buildings. So these guys would get a ocean front, some ocean view there. Some more ocean view. All right, so let's uh, take a walk down the uh, the boardwalk here. It's like all the other resorts on Cape Cruz, and in fact, almost other resort I've been to in Cuba. You've got a little bit of a walk over the uh, kind of rough sandstone area from the resort area to the beach. So I think it's probably uh, good planning on uh, their part, uh, a little better hurricane protection, and uh, it's a somewhat delicate ecosystem right next to the shoreline, so that's not disturbed. So you can see just up ahead there is the beach bar. I'll just uh, stop here and do a little pan around a bit. You can see the distance there. The Red Huts, that's the uh, coral level uh, bureau star that we're staying at. And here's some of the other buildings at this resort here. It's, it's a very big resort here. 
All right, okay, let's just keep uh, heading down towards the beach. It's basically the main attraction uh, for most people coming to Cuba, certainly. Uh, well, that and the uh, the staff is so friendly and helpful, uh, really, uh, to uh, draw us for Cuba. It's hard to get the uh, this beach experience at other places uh, in the Caribbean, in my experience. I guess about 9.30, so uh, off to the left here is a beach bar. I assume most of these places seem to open up about 10. Um, super calm day, which is why I've filmed it today. I uh, won't get the wind uh, rustling in the mic. That's their uh, kind of water sports place, and they've got uh, paddle boards and sailboats. I'd say based on today, there won't be too much sailing going on, but it'd be a good day to paddleboard. Uh, I've seen a few people out on the wind and paddleboards, and it seems just a little bit uh, dangerous, but... Uh, Yes. Whoops. Yeah, I'm not looking where I'm going. Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, so this beach has got two uh, two sides to it. Uh, one comes down here quite a bit, and they've got the beach chairs uh, laid out. But uh, yeah, I think they should probably maybe they're planning to build some more uh, uh, palapas along this section of the beach. You can see that's the other entrance there where those huts are. Beyond the huts there, it gets pretty rocky, so it's kind of sandstone rock, so it's really not a uh, prime beach area. Um, then along this side, you can see the, uh, there's nothing, no, uh, no seaweed on the beach. The beach guys have been out early uh, collecting from all the seaweed and taking it away. A little bit comes up at high tide each day and they, they clean it up each morning, so it's really not, not an issue take a little closer look to the water here you can see uh, how clear the water is such a nice calm day today and you can see there's lots of huts out here and uh, clearly the occupancy rate in this hotel is is quite low I see very few reserved chairs so some benefits of coming to an empty resort it's easy to get uh, beach chairs, etc. but sometimes the food options can be a bit limited. They'll just have like one uh, one restaurant open, etc. so. But usually they will rotate the menus. It's just the same, uh, just the same venue each time. There's... All right, well, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, if you enjoyed it, you'll get future uh, future updates.